A psychosis is a mental state of irrationality, if you will, of things not making sense, and there's a contagious nature to it. There's an old saying, history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. You see these patterns again and again. When you have somebody in government saying like, now here's the new crisis, now here's this, do this, this is what you need to do. And I'm in that, in that emotional window, it's like, oh, that's reasonable, I'll do that. And they'll follow it because of the state of emotion that they're in. But neither can we be naive or foolish. We know only too well that war comes not when the forces of freedom are strong. It is when they are weak that tyrants are tempted. We simply cannot learn these lessons the hard way again without risking our destruction. Human nature never changes. We've gone through this period where strong people created good times, and good times created weak people. What's in the minds of people right now is to injure other people. This psychosis is itself infectious. It starts to spread like a contagion, like an infectious disease. But it's not a disease of the body, it's a disease of the mind. So we think we're different. We're not Russian peasants that are gonna be swept away by the Bolshevik revolution. We're not refugees seduced by the ideology of the Taliban. No, we're Americans. What we've seen is, no, no, no. What is it that triggers us inside, that keeps us in this normalcy bias mindset? Well, we just cannot imagine that this type of evil could ever come to my neighborhood, to my doorstep. We can't get weak again. We need a revival. It's in the open. All of this is in the open. Everybody listening to this ought to realize we don't have to be conspiracy theorists. We can just report the news. If we stay on this path, we're gonna have the same problems that other societies have had. And unfortunately, I think that in the end, you know what really ends it? I don't want it to go there, but it kind of looks like we may be headed that way.